or try to develop the the fertilizers locally instead of going for mm -hmm. chemical fertilizer. Mm -hmm. But efficient in a way which still keeps people mm -hmm. in the rural areas, to go back to what you were saying. Uh, yeah, so that's right, you that's know, right. Sort of that's right. Modernization that's process. right, that's we right. We need one farmer yes. now, when we need mm -hmm. Yeah, but the only problem with this uh, uh, labor-intensive technology is that you cannot produce things on a large scale as you have mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. there is a balance you need for the development of agriculture system in the country and which was done successfully. Mm -hmm. Now the Prime Minister's new scheme is called Jandhan Yojana where all the mm -hmm. rural people, mostly those living mm -hmm. in small villages, they have been invited to open their account in the banks. Right. Mm -hmm. And the, the mobile uh, technique the, that you have said mm -hmm. is being used in that. So we are already in the process yes, of using yes, that. mobile banking. So mobile banking is in, in place and, and that, that has been done uh, quite successfully. I don't know the exact figures but it is in crores that mm -hmm. people have yeah. uh, opened mm -hmm. their accounts yes. in different mm -hmm. banks. So, so that's also a kind of a scheme that has been implemented successfully by this, uh, the present prime But it implies minister. that you need mm -hmm. improving hardware because mm -hmm. you have to keep your economy in balance as between different aspects and you have to balance the whole economic pattern against human need and so on. Mm -hmm. That's right. Going back to what so, you so, so said. So I, yeah, so I don't know if uh, kind of, the kind of uh, uh, smart partnership type of dialogues with small d, not conferences, which could kind of unroll all this uh, holy, more ho whole. Holistic. Mm. I, I give you an example and I have very good idea yeah. because we had lately, I, I was supposed to send you a copy of that report. Okay. We have been given this responsibility, the mm -hmm. Science Foundation, mm -hmm. and we come out with the report. We have identified very interesting issues there. Uh -huh. I mean, other cities, they are very small as mm -hmm. compared to big Lachna, cities of Delhi. Mm -hmm. So, they are facing, because of the population outburst, they are facing lots of problems. Mm. And those problems are to be solved. And they are not being handled properly by the state administration. Mm -hmm. For example, the problem of waste management. Waste management is taken care by the municipality and they are not able to do it properly. For example, segregation of waste and where to put pay newspapers, where to put bottles, where to put uh, bio waste, where to put mm -hmm. hospital waste, where to... They are not able to do it. Mm -hmm. Similarly, they are mm -hmm. having traffic problems. Mm -hmm. Because the, the roads are congested, road mm -hmm. is one, and all kinds of uh, mode of transports are, are going on the on same the, road. On the same road. Mm -hmm. That is like cycle rickshaw, mm -hmm. motorcycle, mm -hmm. then uh, you have uh, bicycle, then mm -hmm. you have motor car because mm -hmm. number of automobiles are mm -hmm. increasing tremendously in, in every part of India. So, including cows, including cows and buffaloes and, and buffaloes dogs and, and everything. Yeah. Now everything on that road. So how to do that? Mm -hmm. Only traffic police cannot take care of this. Mm -hmm. yes. The third problem, the I am talking about acute problems mm -hmm. because the people are suffering from it mm -hmm. and they never open the mouth against the administration that what to do and what not to do mm -hmm. to solve these problems. Now why don't they? I mean, how can they do it? Because they, they are, do, they they are handling well, sing, single no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a bit naughty here. They should have a dialogue, then they could open their mouth. Yeah, they, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. they, they should. I mean, we are trying I'm to allowed. sensitize them. Yeah. We, yeah. With these, uh, you know, then, yeah. then we have tried to create science clubs in UP. Yes. Try to open the dialogue. Mm -hmm. This is what mm -hmm. I'm saying. I'm coming to that point, what you're uh -huh. raising. Uh -huh. Then the, the fourth problem, third problem is water resources. Uh -huh, there is yeah. a water crisis, mm -hmm. especially in the, during summers. The water table goes down very deeply mm -hmm. and there is no water. The water supply comes only twice a day, mm -hmm. just for one hour and one and a half hour. No really. And it's an it's a acute problem. So what the people have done? They have installed jet pumps. Yes. Jet pump goes down 
300 to 40 and 400 mm -hmm. meters down mm -hmm. and then they suck out the water now that's found every mm -hmm. every house now to solve the water problem as every house has a jet pump what will happen there will be no water if if you are mm -hmm. sucking water in the in summer water there will be no water mm -hmm. so how to solve that problem you have to install the water resource ha water harvester system in the Mm -hmm. so that you can retain this mm -hmm. rain water mm -hmm. now we what we have suggested to them that one agency cannot handle this mm -hmm. for example the waste management is the problem of environment department is a problem of research department mm -hmm. is a in the university is a problem of municipality how to if you can bring all these the four or five agencies together in a in a kind of science parks or industrial mm -hmm. parks mm -hmm. so then only you can solve the problem mm -hmm. this is what we have suggested and they were mm -hmm. uh, really when we talked but about at the, at the ultra, ultra pradesh level they have a state government yeah it's a state government and within it's that the responsibility of the state government yeah. only, or can the federal government that's it. it's, a, it's the responsibility of the state government the local administration administration is responsible for all these things so administration should try to mobilize these four or five resources which can help them in solving this problem this is what we have suggested to them so if, if one talked about smart city is such an abstract thing so could Lucknow become a, a smart, smart city? A smart city is a different matter because No, of the but I mean, why, why not Lucknow becoming a smart city? You know, it can't be the smart city. It can be in certain things, but uh, what could will you do one. with the, what will you do with the traffic there? Well, unless, but this, that's, that's have, the reason I'm saying. Unless you have fresh roads, unless you have new roads, new uh, new organization, new architecture. No, but the intelligent intelligent systems. May are part of a smart city, and one of the main applications is to do with transport. Yeah, of course. So, transport, so is a, so, so transport is the main thing. Transport yes. is the main one, thing. One, one of it. Yeah. No, but yeah. but but yeah. how would you solve it when there are no roads? You need some engineering. You need road research institute to think on those problems. So then they can make possible. So where changes. is this road research Not institute? Not the traffic police. Where, traffic. where is the road research institute? That's in Delhi. In, so in Delhi. Yeah, they should bring in road. Eh? It's by a small open unit. That's it. I remember we've been there many years yes, because that yes, issue. Yes, I, I've yes, been there. Yes. I remember that. And they have solved the many problem. Delhi's problems yes. of traffic. For example, Connaught mm -hmm. Place. Uh, they made mm -hmm. those truly it's one way, and engineering mm -hmm. is required. Mm -hmm. Make some modification mm -hmm. into road. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are the small things, so but are there very good for the for the cities. But are there if they implement it, it will solve many problems. So are there at the gov at the state level? Is a research is a, is it distributed? The priorities are they distributed? No, no, the, nothing has been done. Nothing has been done. I'm sorry to say, uh, still they, kind uh, they of have see they have a very old system of governance mm -hmm. and the governance is done by one department for example uh, uh, waste the, the management, it uh -huh. is it is uh, it is done by it mm -hmm. is done by uh, mm -hmm. the the health department mm -hmm. who takes care of the waste management mm -hmm. they collect the waste take it into trolleys mm -hmm. but they do it half heartedly still mm -hmm. you know many places there is no attention towards this waste mm -hmm. management but when where uh, the current prime minister he was in his state mm -hmm. what did he do which was quite exceptionally uh, well done what was it yeah it was switch abhiyan means yes. uh, means campaign for cleaning and he is yes. putting a lot of money it's a very good thing that he has started but uh, how it should be, be done is not very clear. I mean, if you are asking one agency that you do it, it is not possible. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. has to be seen, that has to be worked mm -hmm. out, and uh, you need some time to organize it mm -hmm. in a methodical way so that the system works. Mm -hmm. You get the feeling that yes. India's democracy, which is, yes, yes. is actually an obstacle to some of these things. If you go to China, 
<laughs> I don't think so. I don't think no, so. No, it's the other round. But then yeah, India. The beauty of India is that it's a market economy as well as democratic country. But, but this the, but is the, 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 the two things they are going together. And are, are you doing, saying going that UK is democratic and, and uh, market economy, market economy so at the same time? This is an <laughs> abstract. I don't think so. No. no, I don't think so. It should be the other way around. I mean, China, you cannot compare yourself. With, we have our own values, human problems. We have, uh, you know, humanity. We take care of the people. You have to understand the sentiments of the people. You have to come mm -hmm. open there. There's a freedom of speech. So how can you curtail it or not? Mm -hmm. I wasn't really wishing to make a, a disadvantageous no. comparison because obviously the culture in India it's very is different. more sophisticated. And it's more sophisticated. Very sophisticated. You know? yeah. The problems, more as you described them, require so many agencies or private enterprises in cooperation with agencies, authorized by agencies, to work together in so many different states. It's a formidable task that you describe. It's only, uh, it requires at, uh, the attention of administration. That is the point. Administration means the state government, the leadership. If they take interest, definitely mm -hmm. it will mm -hmm. be done. Mm -hmm. There's no hurdle because of democracy. It's, it's mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. that the, these people will not vote to the government. They will be very happy to vote the government if you do something good for the Actually, the, of, of course, the recent elections were absolutely formidable. I mean, yes. there isn't any And there are fair uh, elections, yeah, open yeah, elections. Yeah, that's and, it, that's uh, it. It's just you know, uh, people's incredible. Will, yeah. people's uh, mm -hmm. feelings, mm -hmm. uh, you cannot mm -hmm. play with them. We okay. are not, they are not we, allowed to. We, you were trying to pick up a few thoughts you put down on the uh, uh, in, in some PowerPoint. Uh, which are some of the dimensions that we haven't touched mm -hmm. on in the discussion? Yeah, I, uh, I think I have not touched uh, okay. the comparison of India and China. And China, that is yes. important. No, we haven't. Please. And then I have yeah. not touched the internationalization no. of science and no. technology. No. We have not touched. Okay. We have not touched the the Koreans' uh, progress that they have made mm -hmm. tremendously. Mm -hmm. We have not mm -hmm. touched that India is a green revolution. Uh, yeah. India is uh, you know white revolution. India is the largest producer of milk. You won't believe it. India is the second largest producer yes, yeah. of fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. India is uh, the, 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 green, the green revolution, the white revolution, the blue revolution, the fish, the mm -hmm. kind of fish we are producing. The, the, the fish industry has been organized. Uh, the way we, have, we are producing fish is tremendous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then IT revolution, software revolution. The DNA revolution, so different kinds of revolution, but in spite of that, we are not able to fight the poverty. That is the main thing. This India is says. paradoxal. Yes, yeah, paradox. yeah, but it's a paradox, as you said. Yeah, Thank you very much. That's okay. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm, uh, you want to relate a little bit, uh, one or two of the things relate. Uh, yeah, I would like yeah, to say something about uh, definitely about this uh, in yeah. the larger context. Yeah. yeah. And that yeah. is the context has four components. China, India are the fastest growing mm -hmm. economies in terms of efficiency mm -hmm. of resources. Mm -hmm. You know, the efficiency of resources is very mm -hmm. important. How mm -hmm. you are going to utilize your resources, your manpower, your industry, your education system, the intellectual power, and of course, uh, the people are the the main thing in in, in mm -hmm. any development mm -hmm. of uh, in uh, in any country. So there has been considerable improvements in China's and India's rank summary measures of global innovation over mm -hmm. the years. China has made progress, whereas also we have made mm -hmm. progress. The patenting system of India has increased, whereas China has also increased. They are doing very well in manufacturing industry. We have not been able to do much, but our services are quite up to mark. Are they better than China? Yeah, they are better than China. That's it. They are because much I've better seen, than China. I've seen the there has been perceptible thing. increase in the knowledge intensity of China's and India's manufacturer and services export. Mm -hmm. Services exports are quite significant of India mm -hmm. over the years. Mm -hmm. and, and the mm -hmm. reason why your service industries have made more progress than China's is what better services provided, 
or through the English language more one of the reasons one of the reasons capacity than china has yeah one of the reasons and they are what do you mean by services this is, is the it services mm -hmm. and uh, architectural services mm -hmm. we have r and d services mm -hmm. from yeah companies. we have software services all over mm -hmm. the world mm -hmm. we are we are that, that i'm i'm coming to that in a okay. minute uh, both okay. the countries have achieved international competitiveness in high technology such as astronautics yeah. both india and china both have made progress mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. not that india has progress i don't think china has uh, yet reached no Ma no they mars? have not been able not to reach yet. mars no. but they are doing well i mean china yeah. is ahead of us china yes, is ahead yeah. of us in astronomy mm -hmm. and uh, of course the space Spice. research uh, mm -hmm. they, they mm -hmm. then the economist measure this efficiency of resources by computing a summary of measures such as total factor productivity growth this mm -hmm. tfpd mm -hmm. is, is very very famous and everybody yeah. knows mm -hmm. about it the tfpd mm -hmm. so we the, the the two uh, authors bosworth and collins in 2008 they tried to compare these uh, tfpd mm -hmm. of both these mm -hmm. country the last 25 years mm -hmm. period 1978 to 2004 contribution of labor agriculture yeah. industry and services mm -hmm. as well as for the aggregate economy the magnitude of output growth in china roughly double that of india at the aggregate level china is far far ahead of us in the industrial development in china the post 1993 acceleration concentrated mostly on industry industry this manufacturing mm -hmm. sector manufacturing mm -hmm. sector is very strong as compared to india india is far far behind china in this area which contributed 60% of china's aggregate productivity growth so industry contributed 60% in the 25 last 25 years not annually but if you talk about uh, annually then um, 45% of growth in india in second sub period came from the services it is 45% growth not manufacturing but only mm -hmm. from services mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. india over the last 25 years what about shipping shipping is very well developed that's it very well in manufacturing shipping yes. is probably one of the most yes. developed yes mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. developed and defense equipments yes defense equipment mm -hmm. is also well. i mean we are doing uh, for all kinds of uh, defense products mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is a production system which is highly organized and there is a separate secretary for defense uh, production mm -hmm. so it's very but is there any research component research component is in uh, in drdo for the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but there is no coordination because of the fact There's that no we are importing technology that's most right. of the yeah, in most adopting. of the cases importing technology mm -hmm. uh, we have been able to design some missiles but mm -hmm. not uh, to the level internationally you can compete mm -hmm. in that area Mm -hmm. But according to this uh, study, a study by Kate cited in Economist 2009, okay, yeah. who computed the TFPG in emerging economies over the period 1990 to 2008. Mm -hmm. According to this study, China had the fastest annual growth in the world. Mm -hmm. Fastest mm -hmm. annual growth mm -hmm. of TFPG at around 4%. 4% is very high mm. very high mm. closely followed by india at around 2.5% per annum during that period india is number 1 and uh, india china is number 1 and india is number 2 in tfpg growth annually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's 4% that is 2.5% it's quite a big gap yeah big gap but it is still number 2 no no it is number 2 but big gap Yeah, big gap. Of how, course, how do you explain gap. that? Four percent and yes. yeah, manufacturing industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, in the above uh, mm -hmm. para, you have seen that sixty mm percent -hmm. growth of China over the last twenty-five years due to industry. Yeah, that is the manufacturing, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. our manufacturing is uh, is very low. That requires quite a lot of yes natural resources. Natural resource. No, natural resources means. Uh, you require manpower 
and highly manpower. qualified manpower. That's why I was talking with you, emphasizing mm -hmm. that, that you challenges. should bring back, you should increase the outlay of research. Mm -hmm. How can you do that? Unless you pay them mm -hmm. comfortably, they will not work for you. They will not come back. Those who are doing so well in I mean, uh, the non-resident Indians. Do, do it. I mean, China has something like 55 billion mm -hmm. balance of paper mm -hmm. surplus because of agri uh, export of industrial goods. How are they, therefore, they have a huge cash reserve. Mm -hmm. how, do, how is India in terms of its cash reserves? We have about uh, 430 billion mm -hmm. cash mm -hmm. reserves. Yeah. Wow. Do you know how that compares with China? And, and oh, China is in trillion. No, no, yeah. China. It's yeah. trillion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's between India and China, everybody's trying to compare. And I'm not very sure if one should just look at India on its own. I know China, <laughs> but um, I... But there are so many dissimilarities between yes, and China. Yes, so, so, so... So it will not be wise to compare like no, no. this. Yeah. It will not be very wise. To yeah. Because we have our own values, we have our own yeah, uh, value different. system. Over the last different temper. Several hundred years. Different temper, and yeah. different, temper different, yeah. different attitude, Which different I culture. And they have, uh, they have the aggressive, world. aggressive system of doing things all over the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have their presence in Africa, they have yeah, yeah. their presence in Europe, they have their in presence all over the world. <coughs> and aggressively doing business with them. Mm -hmm. Well, but the India is present in many places. I mean, India you go... is present, but not aggressively in a different way. No, no. That's what I'm saying, it's a different way. So, I... yeah. And China um, is much criticized, of course, for when they go there, they don't implant skills in the country. They do a project, take the cash, mm. and go away. This is a big issue in terms of <coughs> tradition and modernity. The Chinese yeah. just go, do a project, and come mm -hmm. out. And they don't mix with the local community at all. But it's difficult to mix because the cultures are so different. So that is where the asset of the Indians yeah, being yeah. in Ghana or being in Sierra Leone or being in Gambia or being yes. wherever they are, I mean in South Africa. So uh, they, 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 they are being in Uganda. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. So, um, yeah, the only thing is that somehow is not connected back home. Uh, there is an Indian presence, but as different from the other <laughs> counterpart, um, there doesn't seem to be a connection with um, with the um, back home. Uh, yeah, there is connection because they are sending a uh, lot of money to India. Yes, uh -huh, they are uh -huh, sending uh, uh -huh. the the total repatriation by these uh, uh -huh. expatriate to India is about twenty billion dollars. Uh -huh. Oh, is serious. that so? That's a serious big contribution. That's, that's quite a lot of money. And especially money. coming from uh, from Gulf countries, from Africa, from other Asian mm -hmm. countries. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot. That's uh -huh. a lot in the sense. Uh -huh. So there is there is connection from Singapore. I mean, in Singapore you mm -hmm. find many Indian. Mm -hmm. In Russia you find many. Yes, Indian. yes, 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 yes. So it is so different, it's so difficult to get in a place like Russia, but they are there. You know, yes, 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 they are present. But okay. they are sending back, repatriation is uh, so much, so, so that is amazing. Okay, okay, so let's, let's, let's kind of just focus on what you wanted to yeah, put on uh, record. Yeah, because you are interested in yes. that, the rate mm -hmm. of, when you, yeah, this, another mm -hmm. interesting uh, mm -hmm. thing is in India's mm -hmm. pharmaceutical industry. That has yes. increased yes. tremendously. Yes. It is driven by knowledge, skills, <laughs> low production cost, international quality products has witnessed a robust growth from the production turnover of 5,000 crore, that is one billion dollar. Which is a main hub in India in relation to pharmaceutical? For the main hub is Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Hyderabad is the main hub, mm -hmm. then Delhi, mm -hmm. after that Delhi. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, the down south, if you go to towards Chennai, yeah. Chennai. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
But main hub is in Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Hmm. International competitiveness in certain high technology areas such as astronautics technology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both India and China has an active research program which spend considerable amount of public funds on space. As I said, 100%. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. is not 60% or mm -hmm. 50% in mm -hmm. uh, like CSIR. It is 100% and mm -hmm. the package right from production to exploitation to research. Mm -hmm. uh, and the loop goes like this. If there is any problem, it comes back to research. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they make modification and, the, mm -hmm. and this loop keep on rep repeating till you have, yes. have totally, you know, improved the product mm -hmm. and removed the, the flaws. It's fully funded government yeah. action 100%. to improve research. That is the reason that they are... Mm. Not doing... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. funds on space research and have mm -hmm. increasingly demonstrated technological capabilities in satellite launch vehicles, undertaking commercial launches of satellites on behalf of other countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the India has gone uh, to moon as well as to Mars. Yes, yeah. yes. So that's mm -hmm. a tremendous mm -hmm. achievement in India, mm -hmm. in the organization and structure of R&D in India. Interesting thing is now uh, the government account for over 63%, only 63%. <laughs> is supported by government. Mm -hmm. Rest comes from uh, other sources. Mm -hmm. But in space it is 100%. Mm -hmm. In nuclear energy it is 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Business enterprises 30% is significant increase from 14% to, uh, to mm -hmm. in 1991. That is because of the fact that the R&D units were established by the foreign companies in India. That's why the mm -hmm. private research has increased from 14% to 30%. Mm -hmm. These figures you're giving from 2014 or something, are these figures mm -hmm. that you 13, 14. 13, 14. Yeah, yeah for China, the similar percentage mm -hmm. is 71% by the mm -hmm. private sector. Mm -hmm. We are 30% and China mm -hmm. is 70%. 30% is... Now tell me something, where do you get these statistics from? We get from... Uh, uh, China, uh, the, the statistics book, and we get uh -huh. from DST, Department uh -huh. of Science and Technology, mm -hmm. they keep on publishing these uh -huh. reports. Mm -hmm. And we have a study on, of IDRC, they have done a study on R&D units in India. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The but number of government research institutions reduced from 5,867 in 1991 to 1,149 in 2004 mm -hmm. in China. Mm -hmm. So there is a mass reduction of uh, research institutions funded by the government to private sector. Mm -hmm. So that's a tremendous mm -hmm. change that mm -hmm. you have in mm -hmm. China. But uh, the... the um you said patents and so on. What, one thing that we haven't talked at all about, it was the regulatory system uh, in, uh, in uh, India in relation to science and technology, particularly intensification of technology. Uh, <coughs> uh, probably they are very, it's very evident, the regulatory must be, a very, must be quite well uh, in place, put, uh, in relation to nuclear and space probably that is quite well designed. But in relation to, for instance, um, um, uh, applying for patents, yeah, from each state, wherever you are, if you are working on research, but of course some of the main states in India who are work more leading in research and development are, which are they? Um, they are not all of them, isn't it? They are about, out of 20 something, there would be about five or six? Uh, uh, they are, so uh, they, they are, they are, they are quite local. a few, they are quite a few uh, quite. which are doing well. Uh -huh. For example, Hyderabad, uh, that is uh, Andhra Pradesh or Karnataka, uh, Bangalore. Bangalore, or you can say Tamil Nadu. They are also... Uh -huh. okay. So they are about, they're about the leading ones, that doesn't mean the others don't the have. Delhi and then, yeah. uh, of course, uh, in Maharashtra, in Ahmedabad. Uh -huh. Ahmedabad, mm -hmm. they have a very well organized patenting unit. And then uh, we have. Karnataka and Cochin. Yeah, Karnataka, mm -hmm. Karnataka, Bangalore. Mm -hmm. 
Karnataka is the uh, that comes. Uh, cap- Bangalore is the capital of Karnataka. Mm-hmm. So, okay. so we have we have, as you said very clearly, mm-hmm. there's five or six uh, uh, capital, uh, and then of course Mumbai. If you get copyright, it must be for the whole country. It can't just be in one state No, for the whole country, but patenting in that state. Yeah. So the mag- yeah, yeah. So that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It may be good for competition. No, but, but good for the entire country. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. yes. If you patent it mm-hmm. in Bangalore, for example, it's good for the entire country. Yeah, that, yes. You mm-hmm. cannot patent it in, in, in other, I mean, no one else can patent it in other state. Mm-hmm. Aha, that's mm-hmm. right. So, so mm-hmm. uh, if you have patented it in one state, it and I, I try to develop something and want to patent the similar products, in other states that you can't do. Uh-huh. So there is a that well, patent control picking up behind us. Yes. yes good. Is there, so there must be a good regulator. Oh, because framework. these days you have everything on web, everything so uh, everything one can find yes, out. Yes, it yes. cannot be changed. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. There must be some of these high performance computers. We don't know where they are. Or supercomputers. <laughs> yeah, we have to go <laughs> for big data. Be, we have to go. We have to yeah. go. Otherwise, yeah. there is no yeah. way out. So we have okay. to increase the outlay of R and D. Okay. Then we can go. Obviously, the uh, latest uh, developments which um, uh, take place without necessarily planning them or wishing to, to make them happen are those which happen and you try to catch up with them. And those are particularly in the area of all this open data and open policy making and all the rest of it. And uh, I'm sure that India is not necessarily outside of this big problem and it's probably aggravating even more so or maybe it takes advantage of it but um, because of the software development and all the rest of it but I can't see how um, an open government data strategy for instance yeah, uh, could not actually intensify uh, developments in uh, cyber security developments in uh, uh, all these intelligent devices including make use of uh, the supercomputers and high performance computers that you probably have. So I was wondering if in your Zahir Foundation, which is closely working within, is not in government, but it is outside government, but is actually trying to keep the government up to date and international scene and otherwise, if by any chance you approached yet this issue of developing a kind of a landscape as we call it, a landscape of issues which are derived from this open of the digitization of economy, not in relation to manufacturing or software development, in relation to actually not being able to deal with the government systems because of the availability of devices which actually opens up the uh, both the uh, systems through which policy is made without necessarily having to do dialogues and so on. So there are some tremendous impacts and concerns in relation to, for instance, how could the civil service, yeah? In India, I will well be a, an extraordinary interest. How could the civil service in India be able to uh, support an open policy making in science policy? How? Um, uh, how could the Indian national statistics, hence I was asking about you, where do you get statistics, yeah? Uh, how could Indian national statistic office, and there is one, is a very well known established one and must be in each government and so on. <coughs> How can they compete with probably multiple large data aggregators that are evolving <laughs> from the trillions of data that are being in information that is devised in India? In the present governance, in the present system, we have data. It's yeah. not that we don't have data. We have data in every department. Mm-hmm. It could be economic ministry, it could be you know, science and technology, it could be anything. But data is not updated regularly. That's the, that's that's the one problem. That's Second problem is that the data that you have 
there is no coordination in the data. So we have to do something to coordinate the data mm -hmm. with different ministries. If you don't, yeah. private sector yeah. will do it. Yeah, they are doing it. They are doing it. They are doing but it. Are they, they are big, big issues there. Yeah, they, they are doing it. But if you if you have a look on the software of the data in industry in uh, in the entrepreneurship in of course mm -hmm. research institutions, you will find that they have developed software for that. Mm -hmm. But it's all in isolation. That's the problem this of this is. country. You have to coordinate at one place. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. example, as you has uh, you have mm -hmm. given the example of science and technology policy. You need data from all the departments because science policy area is such, it's not only science and technology. It's the benefit, that, that economic it's development. Yeah. Yeah. It's the it's how you measure. Elevation. How you measure. How, how you measure. measure. So, this is measure. not just a problem for you in India, yeah. it's a problem it's everywhere. for the world. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. In yeah, that's why she's saying that yeah, yes. this kind of thing should be developed in India as well. Only then you can have handle to that yeah, problem. But they will be energized because there is such a disruption that is if taking place. If I understood place. you correctly. Yes. No, 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 no. That's, that's what I'm saying. So mm. what I'm saying is that you, your visit to the hub is very, very timely because uh, I know you've been around Europe as usually and uh, everybody wanted to have you. UNESCO, where have you been? UNESCO headquarters. Uh, and uh, you, you have a long established uh, yeah, long established uh, yeah. relationship. We are doing and some activities uh, in collaboration mm -hmm. with them. As you and uh, of course, you've been to Manchester. You're going to Sussex. So, and hopefully, you'll come back with us uh, when the central bank governors are here. But uh, uh, what I'm saying, what we're saying, is that probably Zahir Foundation would be able to energize the system through some of these things that we were just uh, discussing based on this background that you are explaining which you're very much aware of internally and external mm -hmm. it's like you're using statistics we all are but at the same mm -hmm. time there is someone on our shoulder mm -hmm. saying hi i'm challenging your statistics mm -hmm. so there is an there's an issue around statistics themselves is yes what you're saying. yes there's and there is shadow coming at you all the time saying yes these statistics which you perhaps could say that the more complex your society is, the Indian society is very complex with different players and agents, mm -hmm. the more problematic, mm -hmm. the more urgent it is. I mean, the open government data type of strategies preoccupies every, every country, including here, uh, and the, um, the, the issues around it. And, uh, of course, one of the issue is uh, what means openness of data and uh, because within the population uh, one can have data straight away you don't need from government so it's not an, a, a question of as much access to data which y one a g a government is deciding to make them open but it's more the context within which a feedback is being uh, and the demand is being created. And within and government, privacy, privacy secrecy, yes. I mean, when we do something about public service broadcasting, for example, we deal with a department in the European Commission called Converging Technologies, right? And they're asking how listeners, viewers, mm -hmm. internet users, what their reactions are. Then you get told, but another department is handling spectrum as a technical device, whereby mm -hmm. another department is handling copyright. Another department is handling commercial communications mm -hmm. in terms of the internal market and free trade. So all different systems are all wanting yeah. to put their own gloss on the thing. Yeah. And yeah. these don't talk to each other, even in the same building, mm -hmm. very often. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm yeah. sure you more familiar than I am I with think, that issue. I, I think the, the, the cooperation, cooperative type of arrangements, while identity has been maintained between government departments is quite important so but the science technology and innovation policies in india the way it will evolve in relation particularly with this open data concerns actually will be of very great interest for everybody because you require privacy you require uh, you require security while you are highly democratic so you are in principle open still be able to talk to him if not today but uh, uh, in the next uh, few days and uh, 
he wanted me to give you oh, uh, you the so science, much. technology, innovation policy uh -huh. uh, that the book that he launched uh -huh. um, in Tanzania. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. And uh, he's the or he's the president of this. He's 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 uh, uh, he he set up Malaysian Academy of Sciences. Oh. So as he was still uh, president of Malaysian Academy of Sciences about two years ago. Yes. And then uh, there is uh, all the, the 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 wisdom that he got on uh, the uh, design and architecture of a science, technology, innovation policy framework. Mm -hmm. as, thank you so as much. As it happens, so thank that's thank you, so uh, you Tanshioma, and you probably so we will make you a. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah.